Welcome back to the Bentley Chronicles. I'm John Carney, and these are the Bentley Chronicles, stories about our dog, Bentley, that bring God's Word to life. And Bentley is a West Highland Terrier, a great dog. This week's devotional is entitled, Bentley Has a Friend Named Sidney. And we've got several verses that go along the devotional today. One is in Luke 631. Jesus says this, do to others as you would have them do to you. And then in Proverbs 18, 24, one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And Philippians 2, 3, Paul says, what does he say? He says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others more than yourself. And in 1 Corinthians 15, Paul also says, Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Now, we'll unpack these in just a minute. But today, we're going to look at friendship and friends. Now, Bentley has a friend named Sidney. There's Sidney right there, and there's Mr. Bentley. And uh, Sidney was here recently for a memorial service for her grandfather. And uh, Sidney is Bentley's friend. And uh, Sydney's a cute little girl, and she is a kind and great friend of Bentley. And when she comes to see us, she searches out and she finds Bentley and she gives him a good pet. She is a great friend. Now, Bentley has a lot of friends. And in fact, he is always ready to make a new friend. And whenever we come to church, he always assumes that everybody has come here to see him. So he is excited and ready to meet some new people. Now, as I have observed my buddy Bentley, I found that he has two principles that guide his, his friends and his friendship making. And I think those principles go right along with what God has to say about friends and friendship. Uh, the first thing is, Bentley is, his principle is, be friendly, be friendly to everyone. Now, Bentley doesn't have the energy that he once did. But he always has the energy to go up and to meet someone. And uh, the other day, we were walking across the parking lot, and someone called out to me, what's your dog's name? And I said, his name is Bentley. And at that, Bentley's ears popped up in the air, and his tail started wagging, and he went right to him, and he got a pet. Bentley always makes the energy to meet someone. Now, uh, Bentley loves people but he loves dogs even more. And when we take it to the dog park, before we can even turn in the parking lot, Bentley's tail's wagging and he's crying. Why? Because he wants to get out of the car. And he wants to get out of the car, he wants to get in that park, and he wants to make some new friends and have a good time. Well, the first principle, as I said, of friendship is to be friendly to everyone. Now, you can tell Bentley is friendly. Why? Because his tail wags, and he will approach you. And sometimes, even when he had more energy, he would go all Pentecostal, and he'd get his two paws in the air like he just didn't care, and he'd greet you that way. Now, we need to be friendly. Why? Because the Bible teaches us to be friendly. And why is that? Well, because if we want to have friends, we've got to be friendly. In fact, Jesus said, do to others what? As you would have them do to you. And also Paul said, as I read, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but rather in humility value others above yourself. We all need to be friendly. Why? Because that is how you make friends, but also we need to be friendly because people long for friendship. Not long ago, I heard a famous lady on TV, and she was on an interview. And she's a famous person. She's a millionaire. She's got a mansion. I'm sure she's got servants. She's been on the cover of People magazine numerous times. And during that interview, the interviewer asked her a simple question. He asked this. He said, how are you doing? And then she broke down. She says, nobody ever asked me that. And she just broke apart. Now, what was she saying there? She was saying that what she wanted was friendship. And you know, I got to think about that. 
This is someone who has everything the world says you need to have, fame, wealth, popularity, and all that stuff to make you happy. But what you still want is what? You want friendship, and everybody wants friendship. And as I thought about it, if she wants friendship, who doesn't also need friendship? What about that little 14-year-old girl going to junior high, and suddenly she's all broken out with acne? She wants some friendship. What about that little new boy at school? And he doesn't have anybody to sit with on the bus. He wants friendship. What about that old fellow that down the street that lives all by himself? Think he wants a little friendship? Everybody wants friendship. And I mean everybody. Now, like Bentley, we need to show friendship to everyone we meet. Now, how does Bentley show friendship? Well, Bentley shows friendship by giving you a tail wag and coming right up to you. How do we show friendship? Well, growing up, I'll tell you, when I was growing up, I was painfully shy. And I didn't look at people. You know where I looked? I looked at the ground. And that's all I looked at. And I remember years later, I had a friend by the name of Kurt. And Kurt was a nice guy. But one day we were talking, and he said, You know what, John? I used to hate you. And I said, Kurt, why did you hate me? And he said, because every time I walked up to talk to you, you never looked at me. And I said, Kurt, I never look at anybody anytime. And after that conversation, God began to talk to me. And he said, John, you owe everybody something. You know what you owe them? You owe them looking at them in the eye. But not only that, you owe them a smile. You owe them to be friendly. And so from that day on, I made a commitment that I was going to look people in the eye and I was going to do my best to be friendly to everybody that God put in my way. And that's what we need to be. We need to be friendly to everybody. Secondly, the second principle of friendship is that we need to walk away from people that are not friendly. Now, let me clear that up, what I mean. When Bentley sees a person or they see a dog, immediately what does he want? He wants to be friends, and so he approaches them. But you know what? Not everybody wants to be friendly with Bentley. And not every dog wants to be friendly with Bentley. Some of them are aggressive. And when that happens, Bentley just quietly moves on. When Bentley goes to the dog park, he looks, goes out there, and he tries to find every friend he could find. But there's always some dog there that doesn't want to have fun. They want to do what? They want to fight. And you know what? Bentley's never got time for that. When he encounters that, he just moves on, and he looks for some dog that wants to play and have a good time. And you know, that's what we need to do. We owe it to everyone to be friendly. But we don't owe it to everyone to be friends with them. Some folks reject us. Most of the time, it's just them. They don't like us for some reason. There's something going on. But also, there are other folks that are simply not good for us. The Bible is very clear on this. Remember I read in Proverbs 18:24, it says, But one who has unreliable friends, what happens to them? They soon come to ruin. Now, there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother, but there are folks that will ruin you. And then 1 Corinthians 15, what did Paul say? Don't be fooled. Don't be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. If you have a friend that causes you to turn away from God, turn away from the way that God has called you to live, then they don't need to be your friend. Now, let me give you a personal illustration. Uh, when I could no longer play baseball, I couldn't play baseball in college anymore, no more teams, all that good stuff. It was all gone. Then I began to play tennis, and I loved tennis, and I enjoyed tennis, and I tried to get better every single day. And you know how you get better in tennis? You get better by playing better competition. So when I was in college, the end of my college days, I would play with the tennis team. I actually got to practice with them. I became friends with them. I'd play with them. And that's how you improve. And when I went to seminary, I met a fellow who was a tennis professional. He actually was on the tennis tour. And so while we became friends and we began to play, and I mean, it was great. I'd never had any better competition than that. It really helped me to grow and to get better. And not only that, he had stories of being on the pro tour. So I loved every second of it. It was great, except for one thing. This fella had a bad attitude about what? Everything. 
everything. He complained about everything, was sour about everything. And after about two or three months, I discovered, you know what? I began to have a bad attitude about everything too. And God began to whisper in my ear, John, if you want to please me, you're going to have to space yourself from this fella. And so we began to go our separate ways. And I wish him well, but he was dragging me down. And I had to move on and go on. And if you want to please God, if you want to live for a life that honors him, then you have to be like Bentley. You need to be friendly to everyone you meet. God loves everybody, and he expects us to share his love with everybody. But we also need to walk away from those who are not friendly. We need to be kind and compassionate to everyone, but if they drag us down, they drag us away from God, then we need to walk away. God bless you. And this week, I want to challenge you to be like Bentley and to make a new friend. God bless you, and see you next time on the Bentley Chronicles.